need to push beyond proving our cases at this point into doing something. I'm one of the few people probably that is against a national inquiry because I don't trust the state. I don't believe the state needs any more information to tell them how big of a problem this is. I don't think we need to keep saying, look, we, can, we got a hundred more women. We need to do something. We need to start solving this issue. And that means addressing colonialism. It means decolonizing and the regeneration of indigenous sovereignty and self-determination. It means addressing violence as a social phenomenon. Violence is a norm and not just for indigenous peoples but for all peoples and that is a very scary thing for me. We need to start coming up with ground, on the ground, local solutions for this instead of relying on the state to give us things because I'm telling you 30 years of of encounters I've studied between Indigenous women and the state and every single time we've said the exact same thing that this is violence, it's the result of colonialism, a heteropatriarchy, all these systems of oppression and we are suffering and you need to do something and 30 years later we're still making these arguments because the state has done nothing. And so for me I'm tired of participating in things like a national inquiry and I understand that families need that moment and I understand what it means to be heard but for me I'm done the state I'm done with them they have no interest in protecting indigenous women and girls they turn their back every step of the way and so we need to start demanding accountability and action I'm tired of hearing talk I'm tired of hearing promises I want action today because I think that my life and the lives of other indigenous women are worth that at a minimum Ha, ha, ha.